Good morning and welcome to the grand finale of my horse shopping trip in Ireland. We're leaving our gorgeous Airbnb today, which is quite sad. It's actually been amazing. If you're ever wanting to stay in Boris, is it called Aunt Maggie's, this one? Uh, I think the property's called Aunt Maggie's. Anyway, look for an Airbnb in Boris because it's absolutely lush. It's been really cozy. The host is lovely. And yeah, we've had a fab time. So we're about to head off. It's early this morning because we've got a bit of a busy day. So we're heading to a second viewing first. I'm not going to say whereabouts in the country, but we are going for a second viewing. We're taking a horse off to a new venue so I can like try it away from home so I can just see a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to show that to you guys, I'm afraid. You'll have a few little hints. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my cards close to my chest because I feel like that gives a little bit away. But it kind of doesn't, it kind of doesn't because we've still got two more horses lined up and they're two horses that we've been really excited about for the whole of the trip and we've only just managed to actually arrange to view them because they're over towards Galway, not Galway, Galway. <laughs> Abby's like, finally, you're getting it. Um, I hate we're gonna get online for this. I know, Galway, <laughs> Galway. So sorry. <laughs> cool. But we are gonna play Ed Sheeran on repeat all the way over there. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of, I feel really weird because I've also got this second viewing with the horse that I'm really excited about, but we've then got two of the horses that like, before we came out here, we were like, these ones are pretty exciting. So it's a bit of an odd day. I feel almost a bit nervous because obviously getting to the point where I need to make a decision. So on that note, why food is coming out to play. Although the bars aren't really my nervous food, they're just great for snacking and good for when you're driving, they're easy to eat. So I'm trying the salted nut and chocolate. This is the only flavor I've not actually tried because between you and me, I don't really like like salted caramel things and stuff like that. Pete likes this one, so should be good. If you too want an easy life, you can use my discount code, which is Elfic dash YouTube. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can get 10% off with that code. And remember, why food? Obviously, do the drinks, which I use when I'm out competing, and I literally can't get any food down me. Just sip away. They've got 26 vitamins and minerals. Keep you full. They are definitely better than not eating. So bad to just not eat and then go and compete. So yeah, but today is a bar day. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting death stares, so we are going to get in the car and get moved. just had Ed Sheeran on the phone and he gave us a rendition. Oh, it's actually called Galway Girls. I was like, this is good. Um, right, sorry guys. Galway, Let not Galway. 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 Right, let us catch up. So, we have done our second viewing. Went very well, not gonna lie to you guys. Um, still, yeah, still have good feelings. But as I said, we have also, we've got, well, we did have two more to go, but we've kind of come to the conclusion that actually only one has the possibility of like trumping the one which was viewed in terms of like what I want. The other horse that we had lined up was blimmin' gorgeous, but I was a bit afraid I'd get there and be like, uh, you know, you're, too big you're, you're a horse, <laughs> you're too big. Yeah, she just looks quite like show jumpery. Um, and a little bit, yeah, potentially a little bit bigger. We don't want to waste anyone's time. So we've, um, yeah, we've decided not to go to that one, but we've got one more, the last horse, and she is a gray five-year-old mare. She's done an done event. She yeah, must have done an event because more. that picture is her jumping in a corner. Yeah. yeah. Um, 16 hands, do yeah. we want to say? Looks very, very sweet, very pretty. Which is uh, my time. 
Uh, so yeah, we're heading to Galway. Well, we're not actually. We're on the way to Galway. But technically, you can play Galway Girl if you're on the way to Galway. Um, that is a fact. I checked with Ed. Uh, so yeah, that is the plan. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Then we will have some chats on the way back to the airport, I imagine. Yeah, then there will be some potential phone calls. Yeah, no, that's Mainly true. Mainly to <laughs> Realistically, this whole thing's been a waste of time if I don't get mum to prove for. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed all the videos, guys. But if mum says no, I probably can't we bring the horse back. horses going back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you need to ring mum. Probably ring Simon. Yeah. Um, ring whoever we want to buy a see. horse off. Oh, yeah, that's quite important. <laughs> They're like, sorry, it's sold. We'll have to. <laughs> it's like two weeks' time. I'm like, why is the horse not here yet? <laughs> never told them. God, this lighting is awful. I'm terribly shadow. sorry, everyone. I'm half in the shadow. Anyway, yeah, that is our plan of action. We'll be there in 15 minutes. So join us there. Join us there. Oh my word, this is the last horse of the series. It makes me kind of sad to say that. So we did actually see some other horses this day aside from the second viewing, but I can't include those for various reasons. However, I can include this gorgeous mare. So this is a five-year-old Irish sports horse. She was definitely closer to 16.2 than 16 hands. She was actually quite big. However, so rideable. Like she genuinely rode like a pony. And she definitely jumped like a pony too. Oh my word, the ping that she had. She was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed riding her actually. And obviously, beautiful colour. I know she's grey. Guys, we've completely disregarded my no grey policy. As you can probably tell from watching this series. So obviously, watched her get ridden round. Then I hopped on. These people, bless them. Their arena had flooded. They'd had so much rain over in Ireland. And yeah, the arena had flooded, but they were so sweet about letting us come still. And they were just dead honest. Abby was getting a little bit distracted with those gorgeous puppies as well. But look, back to horse. So I had a good walk and trot around. Like I said, before I got on, I was like, oh dear, I think she's going to be too big for me. And the second my bum hit the saddle and I like moved her off, I was like, oh, you're actually like really rideable. She was very adjustable and just really what's the word I'm looking for like she really listened to you so you didn't feel like she was going to bomb off with you or anything like that like you felt like you could really get her between your hand and your leg and she'd kind of move away from you like she'd go forward and back so that's kind of what I was like playing around with a bit to start with just to make sure I was comfortable and yeah I quickly realized that she's actually really really sweet and rideable and obviously, you can see, she's uh, she's dead honest. She's not afraid of water. A little eventer in the making. She actually had already done a one-day event. I think possibly one or two one-day events. And had been very successful. We saw some gorgeous photos of her. Abby does slightly lose the plot to here, guys. And suddenly decided to film in portrait. So apologies for that. So yeah, I just had a tiny little pop. I already knew that she could definitely jump from the videos and the photos that I'd seen and honestly the feel, I know I'm jumping tiny cross poles, she gave me such an amazing feel. So yeah, I only popped this one fence but I could definitely tell that she had plenty of scope left in the tank. Right guys, it brings me great sadness to inform you that this will be the final Cleo Cup. And it's upsetting because this old girl, she's got us all over the place. There she is, beautiful, beautiful make a car, this one. Speedy, to be fair. Um, yeah, we're heading home. We're heading back to the airport. So we just had our final viewing, sad times. Last horse seen that we're riding in Ireland for now. I definitely want to come back. But you know, we, we can't just buy horses all the time, but maybe a riding holiday over here or even Abby wants to buy a horse. Or we Simon with you. can come back. That's true, Simon can have loads of horses. We've already Just... established I'd get murdered if I brought another horse back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no more horses for you, Abs. Um, no, it's been the best time. So 
So the mare we've just been to see was really sweet. My goodness, could she jump? Yeah, proper, proper ping on her, which was nice and actually very rideable. Because again, like she was bigger than some of the things I've sat on, but more rideable than some smaller horses I've ridden. Like she actually rode a bit like a pony, which is really nice. And then like the height doesn't scare you so much when they've got the easy adaptable stride. So yeah, she's given us some food for thought. So with that's basically how we're going to spend our journey. It's two hours to get back to Dublin Airport and Port Abbey just gets to basically hear me talk about however many millions of horses we've seen. Um, so yeah, we'll discuss it all and then obviously like we want to get back to people because um, there are potential horses that we want to make an offer on. So we do want to not mess people around and get back to them so we might make a very important phone call in the airport. That's not the kind of thing I can do whilst driving. No. <laughs> Simon, say hello. Hello, hello. hello. I'm very know. jealous. I'm, uh, well, I know I'm missing you guys. Oh, we miss you too. We do actually miss you too. It's, been it's awfully, not the same. It's been awfully quiet. 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 In yeah. The car. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's actually, it's actually been quite nice, Simon. To be honest. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been had some adult conversations. It's a lot more relaxing. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so come on, come on, tell me, tell me, how did it go? Well, it went really well. She was really good. I got straight on, jumped some. Slightly bigger cross country fences. Would you say the brush was like a meter? Yeah, Maybe. Like the top of the brush was probably about 90, 95. Um, but no, okay. like she like was decent. She was really good. She was really easy. She was very confidence giving. And I'm basically just ringing to get your approval and see if you think this is a good decision because I quite want to. Well, when, I, when I saw her, I really liked her. Is he in the bath? I think he's in the jump now. <laughs> he's at one you the jump. Oh, you're back. You just went like... Very much. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I, 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 was, I was saying, I think it's just a bit, a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it? I think so. It seems that way. I don't yeah. think you'd find anything but, else first. that ticks as many boxes. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you'd find anything else that ticks as many boxes. Yeah. Can you send me the videos? Yeah. The, um, yeah. All right, I'll do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna go. Oh my god, you can't. <laughs> this is so much worse than I remember. Oh, she's not gonna pick up. Oh, hi, darling. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm all right. Oh, good. Okay, well. Not uh, too bad. How are you? Have you had a nice time? Yes, very nice time. You are on the uh, on the camera at the minute. I'm just warning you. On the camera? Is it like I'm filming <laughs> before you? We've got secret cameras set up around your house that you weren't aware of. I'm a little bit worried about that. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll be on my best behaviour. I was going to say, then. before you're like, do you remember when you wet yourself when you're five years old, Meg? Um, do you remember that, Meg? <laughs> that was last week. I was going to say, 15 was I. Um, anyway, yeah, what do you think without giving too much away? What do I think? Yeah. I, I really liked the, the bits from the video you sent. I thought she looks very genuine and, you know, very sweet. She's definitely our sort of stamp. One eternity later. Right, so do I have your approval to ring and make an offer? What, what was that again? Didn't hear it, sorry. <laughs> do I have your approval to ring them and make an offer then? You do, you do. I, I really liked her from the first video you sent Meg. Good. Yeah. I did really I did really, really like her. And I was thinking if you didn't want her, I might have her for myself. I was gonna say, you know you're gonna sit on her first when she arrives now. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, right. how exciting. Well, well fingers crossed everything yeah. goes smoothly. That's saying I better make the all important call now. Yeah. Ooh, dear. The luxury of pony shopping trips sat on the floor in Dublin Airport because it's absolutely rammed. I mean, that didn't make it look rammed, but honestly, there's like not a seat in sight. Anyway, I've got a delicious little grainy, bowly, it's a, it's a forage bowl actually is what it is. It's actually quite tasty. But I'm here with my phone. I'm going through 
last pictures and videos of horses I've got an hour till I have to go on the flight and I want to make a phone call to whoever I'm thinking before I go on the flight because it's going to be too late when we land um, yeah going to be putting an offer in on a horse which is exciting but I feel like I'm right down to the wire I, I'm no I'm 99.9% .9 sure of my choice but you just want to reiterate it and watch everything back so that's what I'm doing whilst eating and then yeah I'm gonna make the all-important phone call hello hello how are you good good I know I'm, I'm meant to be on an airplane very shortly but I was hoping that I could ask to buy your horse before I get on. Yay! Good. Oh, amazing. No, I, I absolutely love her. She's, she's exactly what I want. So yeah, I would love to have her. Yay. Oh, fab. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye. I think I've just bought a horse. Live, love, love you. Bye. <laughs>